What's going on YouTube? Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you my Ruger LCP chambered in 380 ACP. Uh, this one I fitted with a Crimson Trace laser sight. I'm going to go ahead and safety check the weapon. Uh, it is loaded. The round fell through the bottom. The gun does not hold open on last round, but it does have a manual uh, slide release there. And uh, the gun is empty now. The gun is safe. But uh, like I said, uh, this is my Ruger LCP, chambered in 380 ACP. And uh, I fitted it with this Crimson Trace laser sight. That is uh, very, very, very useful. As you can see, my cats like it. Watch this. I might get a little entertainment out of this right here. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see if he'll do it. Probably waste my batteries, but you can see him there. He, he's, it sparked his interest. But enough about that. This is my uh, Ruger LCP. It's very, very, very small. Very small. Uh, I'm going to put a magazine in it. I'm going to go ahead and unload the magazine just for safety reasons. Because I will be handling a firearm and, you know, we'll just do that for safety reasons. show you that it is empty. But uh but yes, this is double action only. And uh the grip is tiny and here's the actuator, the buttons right here for the uh for the laser. So when you actually grip the firearm get you a different angle. When you actually grip the firearm, your middle finger will actually press the button when you squeeze. Uh, let's see if this little this little uh, butt plate here is a uh, is an extension that came with the gun, and I did go ahead and swap that on there, uh, swap the other one out, and put this one on there because otherwise that's way too small one finger on the gun is not enough for me Two, this is a pretty snappy little gun to be shooting anyway but with that with this little extension on the on the magazine uh, you do get a pr pretty good hold on the firearm I'm not afraid I'm gonna lose it I put 400 rounds down range out of this firearm never had a malfunction no failures to feed, no failures to eject, uh, no issues of any kind like that. I do keep it clean. Every time I've fired it, I've cleaned it. But I am talking, you know, I've sat down and put 150 rounds through it at one time and just kept going, you know, until I ran through uh, 150 rounds of 380. Uh, that was the first day I bought it. When I first pulled it out of the box, I started slamming rounds through it. And uh, it never failed and uh... it's just been very reliable and i trust i trust my life to this gun this gun goes out with me uh... pretty often when i when i go out this gun usually goes in my pocket uh, it's that small and it's that easy to uh... conceal and you know i just i trust it so let's see if he'll chase it that time this time no he's not oh, maybe I don't know. I don't think he's going to do it, but sometimes they'll chase it around the house. But, uh, I mean, the quality, it's Ruger, so obviously the quality of the work and the way that this gun is made is very good. Uh, it's very, very lightweight. It holds five rounds plus one in the chamber, so it holds six rounds total. Uh, when I 
they do have them out uh, with the Crimson Trace laser sight. You can purchase the firearm with the sight already installed, which would be your best bet because the sights are terrible. Uh, they're completely snag free. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there's like no sights on this gun. They're so small. And I mean, if your life's in danger, you're not going to be able to use those at all. They're pointless. It would be point without this laser. It's it's just a point and shoot. You know, it's a it's a hey, you're ten feet away, and there's a fifty percent chance I'm going to hit you kind of gun. Uh, very accurate gun, but you know those sights are just worthless. They might as well not even put sights on this gun. <laughs> but uh, I do like the design being snag free. Uh, it's just one of the things that if you're in the market for a 380 uh, and you're considering the LCP, that's just something you need to be aware of. Uh, is that you might you're gonna want to get the uh, the Crimson Trace version. You're gonna want to get it with this already installed. Now you can go the route that I went and you can purchase this gun without it and then install it yourself uh, which is not very hard at all and uh, zeroing it in is not hard but uh, you know the thing is and, it, and when you buy it, when you buy the uh, laser sight it even comes with this this little pocket holster and has leather recess around the around the uh, side here so that it snags so that this will snag and, and you pull the gun out of your pocket and not the uh, holster but you need to know that this uh, this laser setup that I have here was like two hundred and something dollars on its own and it's way cheaper just to buy the gun with it already on there just let that be known uh, but yeah, this firearm, this firearm does go with me quite often. Uh, it's easily concealed in gym shorts. It's, I mean, it's just, it's just a very handy defensive weapon to have, and I do recommend that everyone should have a little 380 like this. Uh, I recommend this one. Uh, I don't have too many dealings with any other brand of 380, but I do know this one has never failed me, and I have over 400 rounds through it. So that's just something to take note of. It's very high quality, very well designed, very well made. And uh, it is, I guess, a ripoff of the uh, uh, Keltec P P380, but this one is a higher quality make. Uh, Keltec designed the P380, and then Ruger came out with the Ruger LCP, which is pretty much an identical gun with the exception that Ruger makes it and Ruger does a better job. Uh, not that there's any too much wrong with Keltec, it's just there is a difference in quality. Uh, but yes, that is my 380. That is my Ruger LCP. I just thought I'd share that with you. Alright guys, stay safe, stay armed, stay